Hi, in this video, I will show you how to read email attachments using Power Automate. Here is my text file called employee.txt and I have got three rows of values. So the plan is I'm going to send this as an attachment. Then using Power Automate, we will receive the email attachment, then read the contents and extract the values of name, date, and company. Okay, so let's start building the flow. Okay, the trigger I am, I am going to use here is Office 365 Outlook. And uh, the first uh, trigger I'm going to use here, the, that is when a new email arrives. Right, so I can put some subject filter here. So this is optional, it it's, uh, depends on your business requirement, okay? So I'm going to put demo flow attachment. Then only with attachment as yes, include attachments, yes. Okay, so these are the flags I enable now. Okay, so the next step is I'm going to use a compost. Okay, rename this compost to end or carriage return. Okay, we need this later uh, down the floor. What you need to do, what you need to do here is place your cursor inside the input and press the enter key. Okay, that's it. That's all you need to do. Press the enter key here. Okay, so the next step we need to do here is we need to get the attachments. So for that, I'm going to add another compose here. Okay, and uh, I'm going to get. see the attachments content right flow is going to insert and apply to each loop here because one email could have more than one attachments that's the reason you will be having an apply to each loop okay so here that's the attachment content so let's rename that also it's good practice to rename this so attachment content Okay, I'm going to name this flow, extract email attachments, attachment contents. I'm going to save the flow. And the next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to show, I'm going to email that, uh, the text file which I shown earlier. And then hopefully the email will the flow will trigger and then we will see what values we are going to get here okay once we received that then we will build the next stage of the flow okay okay so that's the flow i i sent you can see there is an attachment here so that's the content let's go back to the flow and see the flow triggered or not Okay, flow triggered successfully. So let's go and inspect the, the last step where we are getting the content of the email. Okay, attachment content. Okay, so you can see that it's uh, it's it's an encrypted um, content here, you know. Uh, so how do how do we get the actual content? So for that, what we need to do here is we need to add a next step. So that's the attachment content we got. I'm going to add another compost action step and rename this to call content text. And here I'm going to use base 64 to string. That's the one we need to use here. Then click, that's the expression. Then click on the dynamic content. 
and uh, get the value from the previous step content attachment output here we go that's the one select that see click OK that or you can directly use the attachment content in the expression also okay so base 64 to string press the escape key click the dynamic content scroll down attachment content or you know you can directly map yeah whichever way it is okay that's done so you can see that that's the expression it is so that's coming from the previous step that output okay now i'm going to utilize the flow uh, test flow uh, feature so that i don't need to send another email here okay then send so let's see what's going to happen here Oh, I need to save first. I think the flow was saving and immediately I was trying to run it. That's why that error generally occurs. Right. Okay, now we can see here, here it is the actual content we got. So the next step is how do we get a name, date and company. So for that, what we need to do here is we need to do a split here. So this is where we are going to use that carriage return. We, you know, we press the enter key here. So that's, that's where it's going to happen now because in that uh, text file, for each line is, uh, each line is um, uh, uh, split by the carriage return or the enter key. Okay, so another combos. So there are quite a few combos actions that we are using. And uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to rename this. Okay, so what we need to do here is uh, extract each content text. Okay. For that, I'm going to use split. Split of the previous content, previous step, that is a content output of the content text. Press the escape key. Scroll down. Click on the dynamic content, content text, comma. Now, what we are going to split here with? Remember, I said the carriage return output. See, that's the one we want, carriage return output. And click OK that. So you can see that's the expression it's going to be. Split, output of the content text, then output of the carriage return. So what that's going to do is it's going to give, give you an array actually, yeah? So there are different ways you can extract it. If the attachment content is fixed content, then we can directly you know, refer towards the index values. So to get the name, I'm going to add another compose here and uh, rename that to name. That's the first one we want. Okay, so for that, what we want to do here is the first thing we need to do here is we need to map the content, um, extract content text from the split. Remember, that's an array. So we want to make this as an uh, index using the index. The first index starts with zero. There are three lines in the attachment text. So the first is zero, then next one, that is the name, and then the age and the company here. Yeah? So what I what I generally do is I highlight this and copy that or control X that go to the expression and then type um, sorry then paste that value there and go and clear some of the values. We don't need this at sign and this curly bracket. Also I don't need that the end of that curly bracket then we need to specify the index that is two square brackets and put zero inside that's the first value we want there we go now i'm going to test the flow now and see the result okay flow ran successfully and we got the name so but we are interested in in to get the x y z so what we could do here is we could go here and say um, 
another uh, expression also for that so again we are going to use split so we know that there is the format uh, for that so let me take that uh, content Okay, so that's a, a content employee.txt. You can see here uh, the uh, the separator here is uh, the colon. Okay, so we can use the split and then get the last value of, of that um, line. Um, after we use the split, uh, what I meant is the last uh, index. Yeah. So when you're going to split this, the first is the if you if I'm if I'm going to use the first expression, then I'm going to get the name. If I'm going to use the last, I'm going to I'll get the x y z. Okay, I'll show you. Uh, so that means here I'm going to say split of that previous output value comma, and we know that's the the separator is colon, so that's a split. So let me update that and run run the flow okay flow ran successfully see now this is what i meant by see you can see that's a carriage return there and also the name that's the first index value and this is a second um, index so basically um, you know if you want to get the values uh, from an array like this we, we could utilize the first or the last expression also so in our case we need to use the last one here so I'm going to go back and um, I'm going to say last of that expression again I'll put these expressions in my video description here it is the last okay so what that last give uh, what the last does is it's going to get the last value from the array okay right let's go back here it is so we got the name now right next is the date we want I said age, age earlier is it no it's a date actually it's the second value so for that what I could do is um, again I need a um, similar uh, uh, syntax so the best thing we need to do here is um, just highlight everything control a and control C that and then add next compose and rename date then copy everything and then the second um, line of that attachment content so that's one then as I mentioned earlier the second index we want from that split the extract each content text that's the second line in that here we go so it's the only difference between these two is the index values this is zero and this this is the one that is coming from this split actually okay split always give give you an array actually and uh, the next one is the company also so again I'm going to add another compose rename that compost to company go to the expression paste it again the same expression change this to two then and click OK that okay and now I'm going to run the flow now and to see we are going to get date and company also okay right flow ran successfully we can we we can see the name x y z date is that and company is sdd so you can see from from my attachment text see x y z that's the date you're seeing there and sdd triple d that's the company name okay so the next step is you know generally once you extract the values you might have an excel sheet or something like that then all you do all you need to do here is you can go here and say 
uh, Excel and um, insert rows or you know um, add a rows into a table then you can map those values or you can put it put this into a dataverse or SQL or SharePoint or wherever it is okay so it's mainly you know the main technique you need to use here is the you need an enter key as the separator to get the attachment content using the split then again we use the split to get uh, you know the last index value to extracting the actual values okay hope this video is useful thank you for watching